Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I would like to share with you how I scan my patient post renal transplant. And actually scanning patient post renal transplant much easier than the native kidney. And this due to the superficial location of the transplanted kidney, either on the right or left iliac fossa. Before we start, we have to know that we have two types of the transplanted kidney, either solitary kidney or implant kidney transplant. In the implant kidney transplant, the donor it will be less than five years old. They will bring the post kidney right and left kidney with aortic and IVC pads to the recipient. As we can see here, we have two kidney. Here we have the medial one and here we have the lateral one. They brought both kidney to the recipient. Anyway, we'll start our scan with the grayscale image. Like we do in the native kidney on the sagittal and transverse view, we will look for any abnormality. We'll assess the bronchema echogenicity. We'll make sure that there is no hydronephrosis we will assess the pre-graft region to make sure that there is no hematoma or any collection. After that, we'll move to the Doppler study. First, we'll assess the graft perfusion. And here we have good perfusion over the transplanted kidney. We have a good blood supply over the kidney that reach all over the kidney. Then we will scan the main renal vein. We'll make sure that it's patent. After that, we'll scan the main renal artery, add the anastomosis to the iliac vessel. Here, the anastomosis is done with the external iliac artery. So we'll take the velocity at the anastomosis, which is 251, and we'll compare it to the velocity at the external iliac artery pre and post anastomosis, which is pre anastomosis 155 and post anastomosis 107. So if the velocity at the anastomosis triple to that pre and post anastomosis, it means we have stenosis. Here it's considered normal when we compare it. After that, we'll scan the main renal artery at the hilum. And here we will start to take the resistive index and it will be between 0.55 0.79 that what we use it so the main renal artery it has normal resistive index then we'll scan the interrenal branch we'll start with interlobar at upper then at mid and at the lower then we'll move to the arcuate artery at the upper mid and lower bowl of the kidney overall we have normal range for the resistive index all prints show by physical waveform with sharp abstract along forward in the stall, low resistance waveform which is consistent with the solid organ. So we have normal transplanted kidney at the right iliac fossa. That is it for today and thanks for watching us.